Now it's time for the Community Insider, our weekly partnership with the LA Sentinel and correspondent Nicole Williams joining us in studio with more. Hello, welcome. Hi. Good to have you here. Thank you. Now we we know she's amazing. We call her the queen around here. Uh, but you all are actually focusing on one of our own, Pat Harvey. Yes, so uh, the Brotherhood Crusade is hosting their 55th annual Vermont Bakewell Pioneer and African American Achievement Award dinner. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be tomorrow, December 8th, at the Beverly Hilton. So we'll wow. be honoring, they'll be honoring Pat Harvey, who is host, reporter, philanthropist, anchor, and so much more for her incredible accomplishments in broadcast journalism and for her philanthropic contributions in South Los wow. Angeles. And she is amazing. Anybody who knows her, she is amazing. As nice in person as she is on TV. So that's she great. Is. But you all are also acknowledging one of our other new anchors, Chauncey Glover. Yeah, so Chauncey Glover went on an adventure with uh -huh. local nonprofit Black Men Hike. Okay. It was created by Jelani Natty to okay. create a safe space for black men to be able to hike for their mental and physical well-being and mm -hmm. to have community. Uh -huh. And they have around 70 men that participate right now. Mm -hmm. And they um, also go every Saturday okay. on, um, on a hike okay. in different areas around California. Well, that is great. And we are so happy to have Chauncey here. He has just been such an amazing yeah. addition to our station. And he's really a nice guy. I hope more people get to know him. I'm sure everybody that was on the hike was like, he's a nice guy. Yes. All right, let's talk about um, student housing. We don't often talk about students that are homeless, but yes. there are many students that are homeless that need a place to live. Yes, yeah, so Sunnyside Student Housing, mm -hmm. also known as SS5, they held their ribbon cutting on November 27th mm -hmm. at Sunnyside Baptist Church, which is located in South Los Angeles in mm -hmm. Westmont. Okay. So the goal of the nonprofit was to create housing for students who are experiencing homelessness. Okay. So they have around 14 tiny homes that were oh. built, and it was thanks to funding by Supervisor Holly J. Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And so not only are these students able to get housing, but they get mental health resources, three meals a day, mm -hmm. and they also are supported to complete their degrees. I love that because, I mean, they're working so hard to really be an inspiration and be part of the community, getting their education, and they just need a little help, which is exactly. wonderful. All right, what about uh, ending poverty in California? You have a story about yes. that. Yes, so End Poverty in California, it's also known as EPIC, is a nonprofit whose goal is to motivate local elected officials to create policies and programs that help end poverty in California. Okay. So they went on a multi-county poverty listening tour to mm -hmm. listen to those Californians who are experiencing poverty. Okay. And their president, Devin Gray, says that it's so important to listen to people experiencing poverty mm -hmm. to know if these programs and policies in place right now are actually helping them get out of poverty. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go straight to the source there mm -hmm. to find out what it really is that's exactly. happening with these folks. Well, Nicole, thanks so much. It's good Thank to have you, you on the show. Great to be Certainly here. Certainly appreciate your time. All right, you can find all the information on these stories and so much more by checking out this week's edition of the Los Angeles Sentinel. You can scan that QR code right there on your screen for all of the details.